All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's good to see everybody again and any new people that are out here. Thanks for checking in here on the channel here. My name is Chris McMahon. I'm a local real estate agent here in the capital region. And we're doing what we always do, do this time of year is we're going to be doing our monthly market report, going over the market numbers so everybody kind of sees the changes over the last couple of months of where the market is heading and how things are currently going right now in the market. So we're going to be covering all that and we're going to be covering big areas here, Albany, Good Park, Saratoga, Queensbury, other areas in there. If you are interested in an area, and I don't cover it because it's just too much for me to do absolutely every area, but there's an area you're interested in and you want to know more about it, you want to see these numbers, reach out, get a hold of me. My information is in the description below. Feel free to call, text, email, whatever it is. I'll be more than happy to do your own private video and kind of even get on a Zoom call and go over the area with you so you kind of understand the numbers and you know what's going on here. So with that being said, we're covering June's numbers right here. So let's just dive right into it. We're going to be covering just the capital region as a whole to start off with. So this is a general overview of the capital region. Then we break it down into the actual areas there. So let's just kind of jump in here first. We're going to share the screen. Here we go. As you can see, the numbers are up there on the screen for us and again this is the capital region as a whole right now so the number of listings let's take out the sold listings let's take out the pendant listings and i just want to focus right now on the active and the new listings so the active listings as we can see right here is actually jumped up we're up over 2000 so May, it was 1792, so about 1800. We jumped up to a little over 2000. So the numbers have jumped for about active listings and for the month of June, over 200. As we're looking right here now, the new listings, though, slid a little bit. It was at about 1500 for the new listings, and now it's kind of down. As you can see right here, it's trending down a little bit for the first time in several months. It's down to a little over 1300. For that one so but what's going on with our listing prices so let's take a look right over here this is our listing prices so we got the average sales price is actually increasing for the capital regions it's gone from 372 up to right over here to 394 so the average sales price is going up now the median sales price looks like it's going up here just slightly from 323 to 325 so both of those prices are going up all right, so sellers, if you're on the fringe here thinking you're looking to sell, something you may want to know that they're getting prices are increasing in those areas. So absorption rate, another big number. We saw it dropping for quite a while over here. Then it sort of leveled off there. And then in May, it took off. In June, it's going up again. So we went to two, just over two months in May. June it jumped back up over here. We're at 2.37 months, so it's over two months of inventory I mean, we've got on the market right now. So the absorption rate, for those of you who aren't sure what the absorption rate is, is basically if no houses went on the market, let's just say today, oh, not a single house anywhere went on the market, how long would it be till we were out of inventory, out of houses to sell? And as we're seeing with this number right here, it'd be just under two and a half months, there will be no more houses on the market. Of course, we know that doesn't happen because there's constantly new inventory coming out on the market. But that's what that number is an indicator of to kind of give you an idea of how long houses are out there for. So sold to list ratio, again, this has increased for what? One, two, three, four, fourth month in a row. It was at a little over 100% at 100.5. It jumped up again another percent to 101.6%. So homes are listing for, you know, X price or 100,000. They're selling for a little over what they're asking for. As far as the prices go days on the market as we can see these prices or the days on the market are dropping for the second month in row is down to just over three weeks 23.8 days and as we come down here one of my favorite spots to check out it's like okay so where are the hot spots what houses are going at what price range in different areas so for the capital region as a whole as we come down here and we take a look we see we had 181 at 500,000 plus sales for the month of June. All right. Right over here, we've got second 300 to 400,000 had 174 homes sell for the month of June. Now, it can be a little bit deceiving because they come down and they break it by 50,000 increments when you get to that 200 
or below that 300 range. So we kind of have to put these together. We get 223 for that 200 to 300,000 right there. So that's where the majority of homes are selling that two to 300 range, followed by the 500 plus, and then by the three to 400 range right in there. So those are where the majority of the houses are selling, at least for the month of June. So for that is for the capital region. <clears throat> so let's go back up here. That's our overall review. Now we're going to break this down to a couple different areas here. First place we're going to start off with is Saratoga Springs. Let's come down here. We're going to look at Saratoga. Well, it's going to take out this sold and pending listings because right now we're just taking a look at the active and the new listings. So as we can see right here, the active listings jumped again from 108 up to 129. So a pretty decent number of active listings in the month of June. The number of new listings went from 68 down to 67. So stayed roughly the same for the number of new listings in Saratoga. Right over here, the average sales price jumped and went from three or from 723 up to 852. So a pretty significant jump for the listing price or the sales price. The medium sales price jumped as well. Not a big surprise. It kind of follows this trend right here. Jump from uh, 636 up to $770,000. So a pretty big spike for the month in June as far as what homes were getting for when they were selling over here. Coming down here, we got absorption rate again following the trend of the capital region. It's going up. It's at about three and a half months in Saratoga. List to sold ratio went up again for the second month in a row. There's about 103% of what the is listing for to what the price is they're selling for. And right over here, we got days on the market trending downward as well to write about that capital region average, um, 23.4 days, so a little over three weeks. And where are the big hot spots in Saratoga Springs? Well, we can almost do this without even looking because... We can see over there that the average price range was 700,000 plus. So, of course, we're going to get 31 sales at that 500,000 plus range here in Saratoga. You know, then 400 to 500, there were three. 300 to 400, there was two. And then the low price range was at 250 to 300 right there. So, the vast majority of Saratoga homes are over 500,000, which is not a surprise. This is the trend that we've been seeing for quite a while now in that area. All right, so let's come up here. We're going to check our next location. We're going to go jump a little bit north and go up to Clifton Park and check out and see what we got going on in Clifton Park as far as their numbers. So we got right here, new listings. New listings dropped to 44 from 56. As active listings dropped as well, 1, 52 to 51. So we're just going to say that that stayed pretty much level as far as the active listings. But the new listings are what is a big difference. That dropped in that area. Coming over here, we got average sales price was at just over 500000 Now we're just under 500000 So it dropped about $4,000 in that range. Right over here for the median sales price, it actually increased. So 447 and it jumped up to four to just under, I'm sorry, 480 480 so it did jump up from 447 to 480 as far as the median sales price now our absorption rate this actually dropped we were a little over a month and a half this came down a little bit so we're still over a month and a half but getting a little bit closer to that list to sold ratio we were at 105 percent after we had a big spike back in april where it was at 108 percent it kind of came down a little bit to 105, it's going to even level off a little bit more, but still more than Saratoga. So 104.8%. So almost 105% of what they're listing for to what they're getting. And days on the market dropped as well. They're down to just over a week, eight days on the market for the Clifton Park area. And the hot spot over here, here we go again, that plus 500, that 18. But they had 37 sales total, but they had a little bit more in this lower range than Saratoga had nine in that four to 500 range, four in that three to 400 range and two in that 250 to 300 and even some of that 200 to 250 range where they had four in that range. So a little bit more of affordable area in the Clifton Park as far as what we're seeing for those numbers. So the next spot we're going to come up here and check, we're going to check Albany. We're going to go a little bit further south. 
and check out the capital. Here we go. So first, active listings. Active listings was at 71. Now it's dropped down to 64. So we had a dip in the active listings in Albany. New listings went from 93 down to 77. So not as many listings came out on the market for the month of June right over here. Average sales price, which is our blue line right here, that was 310000 It jumped up to 323 So if the listings went down and the number of active listings went down, new listings went down, but the prices went up. So we also right here, we're going to see the medium sales price also went up again from 290 to 307 So they took a jump as well. Absorption rate came back down. They're just over a month of inventory. List to sold ratio took a big spike over here at 105,000 and a half, or I'm sorry, 105.4. I should put that in there as well. So it did take a pretty good jump up there from 101, about 4%. Days on the market came down to, came down quite a bit. It was at just over three weeks at 23 days. And now that's the average for the capital region, but it dropped down to uh, just over nine days right here. So a little over a week. As far as the days on the market. And coming down here, where are our hot spots? Where's that hot zone right here? We're seeing that three to 400 range. There was 23 sales. There was 23 sales in that two to 300 range as well. Because remember, we got to combine these two numbers when we get there. Not as much in that 400 plus range and even less in the 500 plus range. So it looks like basically that two to 400 range is really where houses are moving in Albany. Next destination, let's right up here. We're going to check out Balsam Spa. Balsam Spa right outside of Saratoga here. And we've got active listings jump from 35 to 38, while new listings drop from 43 down to 27. So decent drop on that one. We're going to go right over here. And median sales prices at 4, 4, 422. And stayed about even. It's at 420 right now. We're going to take that out because it's tough to see this right here. So we got 418 is the average sales price for the month of May. And it jumped up in June to 485. So we had a pretty good jump in the average sales price for that month. Coming down here a little bit, that absorption rate went up. So we're at well, 1.8 months, so under two months. Of inventory in Balsam Spa. The list of sold ratio was at 103, and that went up as well in Balsam Spa to 104.5%. So we're seeing this trend here where homes are listing, getting more than what they're listing for. And I think all our areas we've seen that so far. Right over here, days on the market, it was at just over a week, eight days. It did jump up a little bit, so they're at about a little over two weeks for days on the market. So a little bit more time to get in there and take a look at the house. So buyers got to be quick. Uh, with you got to have everything in order. Have your financing in order. Have your uh, you know know what you want to do. So when you get in there, you're ready to make a move and you're ready to make that offer. So you don't miss out on that property right there. Right over here, we've got eight at over five hundred thousand. That four hundred thousand range, we had seven. That three hundred to four hundred range, we had eight as well. So these are all pretty close. And that number and nothing in the 250 to 300 range. We only have one at that 2 to two to 250 range right there. So that's Boston Spa. Next location we're going to take a look at, we're going to hit Queensbury. And then we're going to wrap everything up with Glens Falls. And that will be what we're looking for here. So active listings, again, active listings were at 28 in Queensbury, jumped to 34. So there's an increase in the active listings there. So more inventory to look at. New listings dropped, though. They were at 29, and we came down to 25. We've got the average sales price was at 340, 341, and dropped down to 315. And we had a drop down as the median sales price as well from 325 down to 265 so prices are kind of coming down a little bit in there which inventory is up but as far as active listings new listings are down but our prices are coming down a little bit in the queensbury area as well the absorption rate was at a month and a half and now we're at 1.8 months for the absorption rate right there 
in the list to sold ratio, they were just about 100, just a touch over 100%. And in June, they went to 101%, so dropped up about a percent on that one. But still, getting over 100%, getting over asking is what we're seeing. Um, days on the market, been trending down for a while, and it dipped a little bit more to 12.6, so about a week and a half to two weeks or so. Properties are landing in there. And where is the price range where things are moving? Right here in that two to 300 range, we had 10 sales, three in the 300s, one in the 400s, and that 500 plus. We had three sales right there. So the biggest movers are in the 200 range in that Queensbury area right there. And our next location we're going to talk about is Glens Falls. Glens Falls, new listings. Big jump in new listings right here. So we're at 12. Three was about 24. So a lot of things popped on the market here in Glens Falls in June. Active listings went from 7 to 10. So they're up as well. Let's take this out here. Average sales price did come down a little bit. 300, just over 300,000 in May. June it dropped to 249. So about 250 is the active. Let's check out the median. Dropped as well from 314 down to 257 for the median sales price. Uh, absorption rate went up. It was at 0.6 months. We're still under a month in there. So the absorption rate, I think that's the lowest we've seen so far, is at just under a month. So about a month for the absorption rate. List to sold ratio, again, over 100%. There's a trend that we're seeing. It did go up about 2% to 104. Days on the market came down. They're sitting at about three weeks on the days on the market. And where is the hot spot in this area right here? Well, that two to 300 range had seven sales. That 300 range had two, and in the 100s, we had three. So price point was a little nicer in there. <clears throat> Inventory a little bit lower as far as some of the numbers, although we did have an increase in a lot of more new listings in there. But they're still getting that over asking that we're seeing there because the list sold ratio is still at, oh, 104.4%. Um, so let's come right back in here. All right. So that, like I said, that's our market review. That's a recap. We tried to hit a little bit from Albany up to Glens Falls in that area. So, and I know there's a lot more areas in the capital region that we didn't touch on, we didn't cover. So if you have an interest in your even specific areas, still water mechanical, something like that, that you're interested in and you want to learn more about it, reach out to me. My information is below. Get a hold of it. If you found some value in this video, subscribe because we're doing all kinds of new videos uh, coming out. I do an investor report as well that will be coming out here. And we also do uh, just highlight areas, businesses, stuff like that, uh, all things real estate. So click on subscribe. Keep a watch out for the next video. Reach out and get a hold of me if you have any questions. We're more happy to help you out, and I will see you guys on the next video.